our dream date or dream encounter, it it it, it doesn't <laughs> require us spending money. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, like, it's, like none of this is for us. I don't want to be at a brunch on a Sunday afternoon. I don't want to have to drive 30 minutes to a place where I had to pay $60 for a table <laughs> and over 200 or 100 for food and drinks and conversation over loud music. Like, that's not my <laughs> idea of a good encounter. Exactly. As I've been dating, right, they will ask me like, oh, when is your show coming up? When is, you know, when is your show coming up? I'm going to watch. And, and they do. They watch. They comment. They ask to come in. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, I've had one or two come into the show, sit in on the show. But after that, like if, if I if for whatever reason they say I'm a ghoster, OK, blah, blah, blah. So if I ghost her or if I just don't, you know speak to her anymore for whatever reason they don't watch the show anymore <laughs> that's fate you're gaining and losing fans just like that gaining and losing just like that you know what i mean that's fake don't do that don't show fake interest in what i have going on just because you think that's gonna like make me like you more or whatever like, but that's dude that's that's like woman's move number one yeah, but that, it shouldn't be. Nah, it shouldn't if, be. I, but like seriously, like like I've been a sports guy my whole life. Yeah. Like any girl that you ever date, they oh they they have an interest in sports. They like football. <laughs> they like whatever. You ask their favorite player, they say Larry Bird. Like I mean, you haven't watched the game in four decades. Like what, what's going on? <laughs> like that's the, that's like woman one hundred and one right there, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I just don't like it. And you then know. we play down the road, and th this is why these things go to hell in a handbasket. It really does. Because it's like they'll tell you, I'm into your show, you're a funny guy, I'm into what you're into. And then once you kind of get into actual relationship, they don't give two shits about you. <laughs> and, and everything that you're into is uh, juvenile, uh, foolish, or wasteful. Everything. Everything. Man. Everything. <laughs> but so as I'm sitting here, right, with this girl, it's the first time I've, I've been out with her. This is the first date, okay? okay? Have you smashed her already? No, this is the first time I've seen her oh, okay. in person, okay? I because wanted to clear that up because sometimes you smash and then you go on a date. That, that is, that is, that is, that is, a, that is a thing, which is very <laughs> awkward. But with this one here, it's, it's from, you know, online dating because I've been online dating. Once again, check out On the Bench with Bob and Pink on YouTube <laughs> clips and catch out the first online dating clip. All right. So I've been online dating and this was the first time I've seen that person. Now, this is my thing. How much is too much to spend on a first date? That's that's kind of that's that's really important. It's relative to your budget, I think. Yeah, yes and no, right? Because, you know, even if you, I have no concern of what the, they come back with, how much it's going to be. But at the same time, you really have no idea if you're going to see this girl again, if you're going to, you know, go out with her, if you're going to have sexual relations. You really don't know. Yeah, yeah. So it, should there be a hard cap on how much you spend on this first date? There should be. <laughs> if, if there is a God, there would be. No, because seriously. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, we we kind of went this direction last week. It's like if you theoretically get nothing out of the experience. Right. So you, you go on this date. It's sort of implied or expected that you're going to pay for whatever that is. Uh -huh. And if this is truly a first date, it may go right down the tubes and you're stuck with a brunch bill. Yeah. Or a a big you know big steak dinner bill and it's like you've literally got nothing for the absolutely experience absolutely nothing and you literally wasted your time like talking to some person that's just like a vapid imbecile i mean who because, knows because <laughs> it, 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 here's the thing that I, I don't think they understand and i wish we could have got you know sometimes you wish you talked to a person and you really wish they would understand what you're saying but they just never do <laughs> and i wish ludwig would really have understood where we were coming from because okay. listen when you're, when you're when you're going out, we have this is not for us. Like like <laughs> if, if our dream date or dream encounter, it it it, it doesn't 
<laughs> require us spending money. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, like, it's, like none of this is for us. I don't want to be at a brunch on a Sunday afternoon. I don't want to have to drive 30 minutes to a place where I had to pay $60 for a table and over 200 or 100 for food and drinks and conversation over loud music. Like, that's not my <laughs> idea of a good encounter. Exactly. I'd rather you just come to buy the house. We watch Netflix. And maybe I buy some, you know, wine or something or champagne or liquor, yeah, whatever yeah, your, your taste sure. is. And that's it. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, go, go back to where this goes bad. You've spent your entire afternoon and, and 100 plus dollars on yeah. this thing and had a bad time. Yeah. Even if she had a bad time. We'll give it to you. you yeah. She had a bad time. You got free food. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> like, you might have wasted your time, but you got free food. Exactly. Like, you know, I mean, who doesn't like free food? Exactly. Like, you just can't lose when food is free. <laughs> you really can't, But, man. like, and for the guy, it's just not that way. And so no. it's, it's just, the whole dating thing is just a losing proposition for guys. Yeah. I it's, mean, at the end of the day, I mean, like, your best case for a conventional date, which I know is not our best case for anything, is that you pay money for food. In a rough exchange for sex. Yeah. That's it. That's like, it. Like, there's nothing else to this. It, re- it really isn't, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, literally, there li- li- literally, literally isn't. Yeah. But, you know, as you go on, <laughs> my point is, um, second, third, fourth date, how do you get there? You know what I mean? Um, when do you, you when do you, you get just, there? Oh, to the sex, or you just keep paying for food? That's what I'm saying. If you if you keep paying for food and keep paying for dates, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, I don't know. That's why the whole Ludwig thing made no sense to me. It's just like, <laughs> who who's gonna keep going for these home runs? That's dates, what I'm saying. You know, That's with my the point. same person with no sense that there's there's anything really coming out of this. Yeah. Safe to say you won't be having a second date with your bunch companion? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know because sometimes, you know, it's sometimes it can work out, of course. Sometimes it can work out. Okay. You know, sometimes that is the, the girl you want to continue to date. Maybe you had a good time. Maybe you did have a good conversation. And what you want to do is as soon as possible, you want to curve it from the dates, uh, going the outings. Yes, to the to the to the innings <laughs> as soon as possible For if you sure. can do it after the first date i mean you're the man if you could do it without a first date you're, you're the goat but <laughs> but you want to like curve it as soon you don't want to get to like ludwig just saying uh oh, six seven dates maybe you know <laughs> yeah. two three two to three dates you want to curve it from expensive outings to let's you know let's go inside the house right you yeah, know, and let's, just let's chill out, and have a good time. Yeah, yeah, for real. For that's real. what you, that's what you want. Because the other thing, and I, I had a, I had a friend, um, a good friend, a college buddy. He was in like a long distance relationship, and, and I knew this was doomed, because what would happen is he would either fly up to her, okay, or she would fly down to him, and they were in an actual relationship. Oh, well, actual relationship. Yeah, but but here's where it went south. When they would fly up and see each other, they typically go to like a hotel. Mm-hmm. and eat like the nice dinners and do that sort of stuff. And so it created this really unrealistic relationship. Right. Like when you're actually living together in the same city, living under one roof, you know, you're not at these hotels like this. You're not out to steak. You know, sometimes somebody's making, you know, freaking pasta or exactly. something at the house. You're ordering a pizza. And it's like if you can't get along with that person in those terms – like, you're not going to get along with them. No. And, and that's the thing is he went, like, in a whole long-distance relationship so where it was all, you know, basically it was all one big vacation after another. Uh-huh. Either we're vacationing in South Florida or we're vacationing in New York where you are, and that's the whole relationship. There was no true, like, day-to-day, we're around each other, this is working, it's not working until they tried it, and guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> like, you know, within a few months, it was kind of like, hey, this isn't what I signed up for. Yeah. Um, really on both sides. Yeah. You know, you and that's the thing. If you are if you go three, four, five, six dates in, and it's always the big fancy restaurant or the big grandiose thing, that's no basis to go forward. Yeah. Because that ain't going to be every That's day. not the norm. That's not the norm. It's not the norm, And, and you're, you're creating a mess for yourself yeah. if you create an expectation that but, that's it. But as the guy, you want to impress the girl, and and as the girl, you don't want to come off as, I guess, some cheap you know, hooker or whatever the case may be. <laughs> so it's like everybody's trying to fool everybody, 
And really, you know, you just you really should just be completely honest. Right, right. And that's what I have adopted. But then all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. I'm the terrible guy. And, you know, we'll continue to be so. So listen. <laughs> I'm glad that's not going to dissuade you. 